So let me talk about the NA10 Twitter automation. So you can do various tweets using this particular NA10 workflow. So let me show you what this workflow does. This is the workflow that starts on a schedule every day. It generates five tweets every day and then it will again be ready for the schedule on next day. So let me run this workflow now. On a schedule, it will take the latest trends from the Google. So it is Google Trends, taking the trend, updating it to the Excel sheet, and then sending it to the AI agent, where AI agent is deciding what is the most popular uh, trend related to the technology, because the Syncprex is related to the information technology and all of that. It is creating or it is selecting the trend here. So whatever latest trend is selected related to IT, then it will be moving to the next node. And I'll show you what it, exactly it is doing. Now in this node, it is creating five tweets. So once it will create five tweets, then these five tweets will be structured here on this particular node. And finally, it will be publishing all these five tweets on my Twitter account. So here you go. The first tweet is being sent and then it will wait for 12 seconds because I have added the time here that wait for the 12 seconds. So let me show you these tweets here. So this is the Syncpix Twitter account. And let me refresh this now. So you will see here that one tweet is added here. The second is also added here. So whatever trend was there, based on that, you can see it's mind blowing. We have to see what trend was there. Let me refresh this again. Let me see if the new, you can see here, third one is done. And finally, fourth volume will also be done and five tweets will be done and finally one tweet will be there which will be related to my LMS. Let me refresh this again. So five tweets every day. You can see here that finally is the call to action. The future of IT is evolving fast. Don't left behind master AI driven development automation and with our expert led IT courses and here is the course link. Let me now show you how it worked. So you can see here, it has successfully completed all the tweets. So all the tweets are already published. So what it has done, so there is the refresh date. So it is getting the refresh date. So if I show you here, so here is the get refresh date. It is getting the latest date when the trends were updated. And then it is then getting the latest trends. So I have taken 15 latest trends. So you can see here, these are 15 latest trends. These trends are in fact stored in Excel. So let me show you all uh, 25 terms. So it has selected, so in this aggregate node, it is getting all the trends. These are 15 trends. I can also, of course, take 15, uh, 25 trends or 100 trends depending upon how you want to have. Then this is the trend selected. Based on this, it has taken the latest trend. So, so instead of 15, I can take 25 trends now. So if I take 25 trends, so now 25 trends will be added. So I will just take the trends here. And if the trend is related to technology, I'll just show you that. So once I run this aggregate workflow, so you will see here, these are 25 trends now which it has taken. So if anything is related to IT, it will automatically generate the tweets. This is the trend selector. What the responsibility of this node is that it is the technology trend analyst speciality in identifying the information technology related trending topics. So these are the trending topics which I have given with the comma. And based on this, if I test this, it will choose the trend. If the trend is not relevant to IT, it will, it will keep it blank. And if there is no trend, of course, it will write a generic tweet related to the IT. So you can see here, I have mentioned here, it should be related to AI, automation, software. So you can, of course, change it for anything. You can get it for the uh, financial sector. If you are working in hospitality, if you're working in any other company or any other organization or your specific niche. So you can define your niche. You can define your specific keywords. So it will choose that. You can see here that it has selected the term called Lyft stock. So Lyft is a technology company whose core business is digital platform for ride sharing and so on. Right now, this is the trendy or this is on top Google trend. That's the reason it has selected that. Now in next one, it will be following this trend and it will create five tweets. So on this particular node, 
based on that term which I have provided, it is going to create the top five tweets. And I'm going to show you that also. I can even mention here, here is the reason why the trend is selected. So maybe this will also be helpful for the tweet generator to generate the tweets. And I have mentioned here that what it has to do, it has to create uh, these different tweets and then uh, output should be in the JSON format. And I can also mention here, do not add word tweet one tweet two etc in the beginning of the tweet. So output will be, this will be the JSON format. And you can see here that it has already given me tweets and these are different tweets, but I will be regenerating this again. Let me just run this again. So it will regenerate five tweets. And again, once the tweets are generated, so this particular node will help us to list those tweets in a proper way. So structure is defined here that you have to use JSON and post structure this properly and give me the list. So if I just run this, it will index and it will create five tweets here. So you can see here, these are five different tweets. So five tweets will be created and in next node, it will start publishing. So first node, first uh, tweet published and I'll just change its timing maybe from 12 seconds to maybe two seconds. So it has run, if I take you back to x.com slash syncbricks. So you will see here that this is LFT stock so based on the trend it has created the tweet here. So if you want to automate your Twitter, so the best thing is to go for IT trend tweet sync breaks. This is the workflow, which I'm sharing, of course, you can go for it. You can simply uh, change the uh, AI agent role here. These are two AI agents, which I have built. One is to trend, uh, to do the trend selection. Another is to generate five tweets. And then this loop will uh, publish all these five tweets here. So it can optionally store terms on daily basis in your Excel sheet. And then again, from there, you can do a lot. I have also even added an auto blogger based on Google Trend. It is publishing on the website.